Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so the great folks over at Aotex sent me over uh, a couple of different devices to check out. Today we are going to take a look at the Z-Wave Smart Switch. Now this is the Smart Switch 7 which is a great uh, little smart plug. I always like smart plugs because uh, there's so many things that you can do with them and so many devices that you uh, can start controlling as far as being able to turn them on and off. So they're a great way to uh, make your devices around your house uh, automated. Here we go. So the best place to get this smart switch is from their own store and I'll have a link to that in the description below. But you can jump over there and get it for about 45 bucks. If you prefer to buy it from Amazon, you can do that as well. It pretty much runs about the same price. Nonetheless, let's dive right in and see what all we can do with it. This is actually a pretty quick video. There's not a whole lot that you have to do as far as setting this up, but we're going to run through everything. Of course, we'll start by unboxing the device. Once we do that, then of course we will install that switch and get it set up in SmartThings because that's what I use for all of my Z-Wave devices. After that, of course, we'll walk through getting it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so it comes in this little small box here. There's not a whole lot to it. It's got some of the information on the outside of it, uh, but not a whole lot there uh, to give you a lot of information. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. It's a pretty small plug. Uh, they made sure to uh, make it as small form factor as they possibly could, I think. It has a button there on the side, which allows you to turn it on and off manually there. And then of course on the inside is your basic specs of uh, power consumption and whatnot. Inside the box with the plug, you also get instructions on kind of how to set it up. Uh, but again, this is a pretty basic uh, install, so there shouldn't be anything special that we need to do for this one. Just to do a, a small run through of some of the specs for this device. This of course is Z-Wave Plus and it will be a repeater. So of course it will repeat that Z-Wave uh, signal around your house uh, once you get it uh, set up on your Z-Wave network. Looks like it has a max power of 135 volts. It does specify that it is waterproof. Uh, I don't see it listed here, but it did specify that it was a waterproof rating of IP20. Again, I probably wouldn't put this outside. Uh, I think it's more designed to be an indoor plug, not for outdoor usage. Uh, but it does state that it is water resistant there, uh, IP20. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step and get this thing set up. As much as I love these little smart plugs, I don't always have a great use for them, just regular day-to-day -day usage. I usually find things uh, you know, around the house that I need for just temporary or short-term basis. Uh, so right now I didn't have a good spot to install it, but I'll go ahead and plug it into the wall. Uh, and so this is kind of where we're going to do our little uh, install and test as far as this video goes. So again, we're going to be using SmartThings to get this thing set up. It's pretty easy. We'll pull up the SmartThings app on our phone, hit that plus in the top corner. We'll do a search for AOTech. And then of course choose switch slash dimmer down here towards the bottom. And then it's going to kind of run through its little setup. 
you can pick a location for it. I'll just go ahead and list it as being uh, study. I think that's uh, kind of my general go-to spot for most of my devices. And of course it will run through the uh, search for the device. Now when you first plug it in, it should be in pairing mode, which means it will be flashing blue. Um, if for any reason it's not, uh, if you hold that button down, um, it'll go through a series of different colors. Basically hold it down uh, for about 15 or 20 seconds, it will reset and go back into pairing mode. Once it's in pairing mode, the app should ask you for the QR code on the device. Uh, because of the placement of that QR code, which is uh, where the plug is actually plugged into the wall, I actually jotted down the pin code. Uh, so we're going to choose enter pin code instead down here at the bottom. And boom, there it is. It has discovered the device. It says successful. Uh, we'll go ahead and just, I'm going to modify the name here and just put slash test at the end so I can kind of remember where this device is or what it was used for. And that's it. It is now set up in the SmartThings app. Pretty simple. And just to kind of go through whatever settings or available options you have for this switch, we'll click on it here. Uh, it has the ability to set a timer and, of course, power on and off, scheduling and whatnot. Uh, you can also, uh, it will have a power meter to tell you how much power is being used as far as, uh, as well as the energy consumption. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's not yeah, a lot of other configuration. I'm not sure what else you would want to do with a smart plug anyway, uh, but not a lot of other features there. Nothing in the uh, edit device area or information there for you to change. Let's go ahead and move on that next step and get it set up in Home Assistant. All right, so again, setting up SmartThings devices in Home Assistant is always super easy uh, with that SmartThings integration, as I've told you time and time again. Under configuration, you'll go to integrations. You'll look for your SmartThings integration and hit those three dots there where you're going to hit reload. It should pick up the new device. You'll say OK. When we click on our SmartThings devices now, of course, at the top there, you can see AOTech test. It is now added into Home Assistant. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step and we'll kind of see it in action. All right, so in the top left, of course, we have AOTech test. That is the Home Assistant button that I have configured uh, in my Loveless dashboard. Uh, down in the bottom right, as you can see, I've kind of got the video aimed at the smart plug itself. And the button there on the side will light up as the device turns on and off. So we'll just click on it here. And as you can see, almost instantaneously, it is turning the device on. And click it again, it will turn it right back off. That's it, guys. We now have a AOTech Z-Wave Smart Plug set up in SmartThings and also set up in Home Assistant. This was a pretty quick video. There wasn't a whole lot to it really. So this setup was super easy to do. Um, and again, these things are a little pricey uh, at $45, but uh, again, I really like the Z-Wave devices and feel like Z-Wave products probably do a lot better than a lot of the other smart devices um, that are out there as far as Wi-Fi devices and whatnot. But that's the end of the video, guys. We'll do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, we started out by unboxing the device. Uh, once we did that, we installed the switch and added it into SmartThings. 
Of course, after that, we got it added into Home Assistant. And then lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're still looking for home VPN service, check out IP Vanish. I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, they offer some great deals there as well and definitely worth checking out if you're looking for your VPN service. And again, I have an upcoming video that I've been working on uh, that will involve the Robinhood API. Uh, and if you are interested, you can use my link in the description below and sign up for Robinhood and you and I both will get a free share of stock. So that's kind of cool there as well. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. If there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.